Hi, everyone. We're coming to me from my uh, dining room today. You can see my lovely kitchen behind me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, today we're going to talk about one of the things that I think is, ah, oh, it's one of the most useful, interesting things that you can do with uh, a Go, uh, Golang, uh, the Go packages, whatever. And it's something that I don't, I don't really see talked about, like hardly at all. Uh, it's around, but it's not really something that is a super popular topic, which I don't really understand because it's probably the most useful uh, package that you can have with uh, Go, and that's something called Delve. So this is Delve, and what Delve is is a debugger for the Go programming language. Uh, what makes Delve really fantastic is that it is designed from the ground up to be a debugger for Go. I know that when I first started Go, uh, I really wish it was kind of like Java, where, oh, you know, you can go into the IDE, you can set breakpoints, you can find out, like, mid-program execution, what a, what a value is that's assigned to a certain variable and all that other kind of stuff. Um, and Delve does all that. What makes Delve really cool, and we can get really, really in-depth with it probably in a later video, is debugging actual physical Go routines. Uh, because Delve is, again, built up from the uh, ground up, it's built up from scratch, to be able to deal with the Go programming language in particular. Um, it's not like a debugger that's been kind of shoehorned into uh, working with Go. It is designed from the ground up to work with the language, and it's really, really good. And I'm just going to give you kind of a basic idea of how it works today. So. Uh, in order to get Delve, really all you have to do if you're on Mac OS X uh, or Linux, which I really hope you are, uh, you can just do a go get once you have, um, you know, obviously make sure that you have go installed, uh, which I, if you're watching these videos, I hope you do. Um, <laughs> but uh, just do go get um, and you'll get this package. And you don't have to compile anything. You don't have to do anything. All you literally do is just go and in install the package and, that, and you're, you're done. Once you want to start using it, uh, it becomes really easy. It's just DLV, right? And DLV has um, a lot of different commands that you can use, but the one that I'm going to show you today is debug. And so what happens is, is when you run Delve debug, you're going to have to put in your system password. And hey, now you're, now you're in sort of the Delve CLI. And... The Delve CLI has an absolute ton of stuff that you can you can use, which is uh, really really cool. So let's uh, quit for now. Cool, we quit, and I'll show you the main. So we have a really really simple main. It's just going to do a print line. It's going to assign hello to hi how are you, and then we're going to print it twice. So again, very very simple uh, example, and. Uh, what we're also going to do is we're just going to um, start a new one just so we can kind of have a, a reference point. Cool. So now we're going to do del debug. Right. And we're now in the So now we're going to start the del debug. Cool. And uh, whenever I open up a debugging session with Delve, I immediately uh, break main. I, I insert a breakpoint at the main function, right? So let's say that we tried to do that. You're probably going to get a message that say, oh, I want to break main. You're going to get um, you're going to get this prompt, this error, so to speak. And it says that the location main is um, ambiguous. So there's different mains, obviously. You have a runtime main, you have a main main. So um, main dot main. So we're going to insert a breakpoint at break main dot main cool uh, now we we have set our first breakpoint right and uh, our first breakpoint is right wrong project <laughs> so here you can see we're in delve demo right this the subdirectory i have my delve debug session running in my other tmux pane my ls here, you'll see that I have a debug binary. And the reason that debug binary is there is because whenever you run Delve, Delve essentially is kind of like its own compiler. So it'll actually compile whatever program that you, you're running, and it'll do it in a manner that's very, very conducive to uh, being debugged. So it compiles it, but it compiles it with not 
efficiency in mind, but with debugging in mind. So if we uh, look at um, main, right? So we have a, a couple of different things going on here. So right now we have the breakpoint on line five right here. And uh, we have like four things going on here, right? So the next one that I'm going to put a breakpoint on is line eight um, with this hello. I'm going to put one here on line 10 and here on line 12. So eight, 10, and 12. So we're going to go to delve. We're going to say break main dot go line eight. Cool. Line 10. Line 12. So now we have all of these breakpoints set. So we're at main right now. So if we do list, it will, oh, no, nope, you have to continue first. So this will actually, uh, when you initially set your breakpoint at the main function, uh, you have to also uh, use continue. And continue basically says continue until you hit a breakpoint, right? So because we haven't started the program execution yet, that's the first thing that we have to do. Cool. So hey, guess what? Now we're uh, our program has begun executing. We are at uh, function main, and nothing has happened yet, right? But we have those breakpoints at lines 8, 10, 12. So when I say locals, right, locals will actually tell you what are the local variables that have been um, established within the scope of this function, so to speak. So let's do a continue. Keep going. Cool. Now we are at line eight where hello is is happening and we can say locals. Hey, look, hello is assigned some some gibberish. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, hello has been established. So now we know that their hello has been allocated its memory. Right. So let's do another continue. And now we're at our first print line statement. Right. So if I hit continue again, you'll notice it printed. OK, great. But let's say that I want to let's say I want to make that empty. Right. So what I can do is I can come in here and I can say set hello equal empty. And then I will continue again. Notice we have an empty line here, right? Because print line uh, inserts a new line along with printing whatever you were looking for. And then it tells us, uh, or whatever that variable is established to. And then we have this uh, process, whatever has exited with status zero. Uh, so now we're, we, we have completed the execution of this program, which is really, really cool. So now we want to start up again and break main dot main, right? So now we're back where we were. Uh, it's help is really, really, the, the help is statements really, really good. Uh, but you can do all kinds of stuff with this, running the, running the program. Um, you know, you can call continue next restart. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff, uh, break, uh, break points, um, deleting all the break points, deleting multiple break points. You can view all the args that are associated, uh, in a, in variable in memory currently. Um, there's specific, like I said, go routine, uh, and thread, uh, mini, uh, thread tracking, um, there's an absolute ton of stuff. You can even, which is really cool, you can actually edit code in the middle of debugging it, which can get really crazy and really weird. Um, that's something that you can kind of go into the more that you kind of delve into, delve, pun, uh, delve into uh, this piece of software, uh, which is really cool. So let's actually see uh, a slightly more um, complex example. So here I'm in this baseball thing that I this baseball project that I've been working on for a long time. Um, obviously, Delve is going to let you debug other packages contained within uh, that directory, right? But the key is is that you have to debug from main. So if I do Delve debug, it'll compile the program, it'll start things up, and So I'm in my current stats, um, my current stats project, my API, 
Uh, let's say that I want to debug part, uh, the parse box score, right? So I'm going to go to Vim, parse box score. Here's, um, here's this Vim file, right? So I know it's in the package API. I know it's the parse box score function. And I know my line numbers. So what I would do here is I'd go to Delve. I would say uh, break. And then we would do API slash uh, parse box score uh, line 14. Right, API parse box score dot go line fourteen. You'll notice here that we have hey hey we, we set our breakpoint right. One thing that you have to do is you have to set your breakpoints on statement lines just like you would in any other language. So like if I came in here and I tried to set one at thirteen, which is a which is a blank uh, line. So API let's just do this uh, thirteen. You're gonna get an error right. Could not find a statement. Use use a line with a statement. Uh, pretty pretty clear that that needs to work, right? So let's do continue. I'm gonna execute up until uh, that breakpoint. Cool. So now we're there. Let's check our locals. Oh hey, look, we got a whole bunch of whole bunch of stuff. Um, that's one thing I don't like is sometimes the print statements can be a little uh, verbose, but in the end, it's actually still helpful to at least get um, something, right? But let's say that I wanted to print like a, a, a local variable, right? The away players, let's just say I want to print that one. Cool, that actually works. So we can do print New player. Why is it saying that? Ah, away players. Let's do. That. Let's try away players. See, there you go. So I was able to print the away players, and this. So it it will support all of the naming conventions, syntax, all that kind of stuff uh, of Go, and so. Yeah, I mean, if you're not using Dell for debugging um, and you're doing CLI stuff, oh man, I, I know that uh, VS Code uh, uses Dell uh, sort of in the background as its uh, debugger. I'm not sure what GoLand uses, but I'm not giving JetBrains my money. So uh, yeah, this is a, I mean, Dell is a really fantastic debugger. It'll give you all kinds of information. If you like working within the command line, um, which I think if you're doing Go, like working within the command line and Go is like so unbelievably easy. I develop everything in the command line. Why wouldn't I use the debugger uh, also in the command line? I'm actually somewhat ashamed to say that the first time I ever had a professional Go gig, uh, I used GoLand for debugging and I would do all of my development within the command line. It wasn't until later that I actually figured out, oh, I can do all of my debugging within the command line as well. And it's actually, I would argue, easier to use um, then uh, the, the then using the sort of the GUI of of GoLand IntelliJ whatever you want to call it. So yeah, that's Delve. Uh, I plan on making a few different videos about Delve and and how to use it. But it's just ah, uh, the first time I used it, I, I blew my mind. It was the most incredible thing uh, I had ever seen. So uh, definitely take a look. I'll put a link to Delve and the uh, repo in the uh, description for the video. I really appreciate your time. I hope you're having a really, really good day. And yeah, this is going to be a really, really exciting video series. So stay tuned. We're definitely going to talk about this a lot.